How's it? Hey Goose. Welcome to Mongoose Max Hawaii. The Okay. Yeah, it's uh May 30th. It's only one more day of May, and that's gone. And uh man, so much stuff's going on. I guess it was the Memorial Day, that lantern thing. Uh, yesterday was, you know, my father's like 10 years been gone, you know, so it was like different. And then there was Toastmaster. Ah, and my friend's leaving today. Uh, he's going to leave, come back, and then he's going to leave for like a little bit longer time. So for right now, it's like, I, 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 okay, okay. Uh, <laughs> I have that feeling. I get enough sleep. So anyhow, that's the vlog, I think, except it's kind of sunny out, I think, uh, yeah, the weather is good, yeah. Oh, and yeah, my computer. I don't know if my computer's about to fail. So <laughs> spent a lot of time backing up. Uh, yeah, it's died. But it's the it's the big news that's really kind of interesting. That's not that interesting. But but uh, uh, the trial. Okay. Um. Basically, the jury's out, and. That means, they, they call it in the judicial system, the jury's like this black hole. It's like the black hole of the jury room where they deliberate. They go in there, close the door, it's just them. Unless they make special requests for the judge and stuff like that. Oh, can you give us uh, an explanation of this test? Or can you give us uh, Long Island iced teas? <laughs> it, 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 they, it's just... It's just them in the thing until they're done. And then the four, okay, we're done. And so what happens in the news is that all the talking head stuff comes up. They're like, I mean, they're good at it. And they got so many of these people and so many opinions and spin opinions. And it's like, oh my God. So literally if you're in the courtroom trying to gather something to report you'd be looking at a shut door in silence <laughs> nothing <laughs> so we should all just take a freaking break you know and um wait till they're done so that's the thing just wake me when you're done kind of attitude towards it whatever the so it's uh, anyways the ghost box says nothing too it's in its little jury it's in deliberation who is he i don't know it's in de deliberation but hawaii has news too i know it does somewhere oh and this one's really bizarre look at this can you believe that wait wait what do you hear about this one this was like the power company. Okay, look. Hawaiian. Okay. Public safety power shutoff plan unveiled. Like, what Goodbye. the heck? Notice this, like, on off button, like you see in the computer. <laughs> it's like something that. See, everybody? Notice this on off button? Okay. Hawaiian Electric was getting kind of blame because the power was going through. This is Hawaii wildfire. I'm at Honolulu. Maui, Lahaina, August 8th, wildfire that happened a little while back, killed lots of people. Left, they're still like thousands homeless. I'm, they're like living in hotels in Oahu. So, the electric company, Monopoly kind style, it's like uh, getting blamed because there's they left electricity going through the wires when the telephone poles got blown down by the storm. Okay, that's the scenario that they're figuring. That's how it really worked. Okay. Now, the first thing the electric company does is say, it wasn't my fault, it was your fault, and blames the county of Maui. <laughs> the second thing the electric company does is, we have a plan. And the plan is, we, if we see any type of suspect weather, like, you know, some storm system blows in, we're gonna shut off your power. <laughs> That's right. 
That's their plan. Hey, it looks like some weather ahead. We're gonna shut off your power. So the, it's dry over there, and here comes some wind. We're gonna shut off your power. That's their plan. Like, holy crap. It doesn't seem like a, they think they're out there uh, unrolling it like it's like this master plan of prevention. And I'm thinking to myself, this is going to create more problems than it's worth. Uh, also, here, let me just, let me just say. A storm comes into Hawaii, rain comes down, it blows over a tree, hits the power line, and the power goes out. <laughs> okay, so it's kind of a problem. Some people have like health devices maintained with electricity. There's food, there's different things. Short amount of time, it's like, oh god, I need a candle and read a book. <laughs> Other things can be a little bit so, but storm comes by, power goes out, that's a problem. So their plan is here comes a storm, let's turn off the power. Power goes out. <laughs> Before the storm even hits. <laughs> this is a plan? <laughs> it's like uh, you're doing what the storm does. It's like you're making a disaster to keep us from a disaster. I didn't know. Uh, let's see what's going on here. Uh, oh, look. Um, here's uh, sports. Oh, transfer portal. So they're watching a lot of their um, baseball, UH baseball. They're win, win, win. And now they didn't get invited. They didn't win the last little. They're like number three instead of number two. So they didn't get to the big international, well, national. But they're going to lose all their uh, seniors if that is even remotely interesting. <laughs> oh, just relax. Come on. I can relax with the power button. These guys are, hey, look, here comes the wind. Turn off the power button. Oh, ooh. Uh, remember back in the day and you just want to relax, just go outside and uh, hang out with your giant family. <laughs> yeah, just with brothers and sisters. Okay, everybody line up. We'll try something else. Uh, just, what is this? <laughs> Don't say it. Human centipede. Okay, back in the day, remember 1962? Air Force Sergeant Hinton, Sergeant Hinton, was born in Wailuku. Who lived in Hilo shows off Sister. his family of ten children, starting from the youngest. They're like two, two, three, four, seven, eight, and ten, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 19. Along with his wife Angus, which is she's I don't know, she, she kind of like maybe where's, where's Angus? She's dead on the lawn, going I'm passed out. Okay, I'm not. Defendant will not recuse himself, so the Supreme Court judge is like. Eh, what are you talking about? I'm a Supreme Court Justice. I can do whatever I want. Defendant is the peer, Trump jurors told. Defendant is their peer. <laughs> a jury of the peer. The, the, the jury was given instructions. They made a big hippaloo. It's just like, well, you know, just treat them like anybody else. Kind of the instructions. Just follow. You, you can't. Just because he didn't testify, don't hold that against him. It's little stuff like that. It wasn't anything. <laughs> It wasn't mind-blowing whatsoever, the jury instructions. <laughs> they're just making such a big deal. Just wait till they're done. That's the... Oh, and making a push for black horse. You know what? Just kind of need a finger on the pulse here, maybe. Oh, look. Japanese word for... Ooh, tsunami detection under ghost test. <laughs> Before tsunami. Japanese word for the day. Heya boshi. Heya boshi. In close outdoors to dry. Heya boshi. Yay. <laughs> Alright, let's get oh on oh, your political cartoon. Aid to Ukraine. Stop us. Uh, Saints preserve us. Aid to Ukraine. Hang on, help is on the way. A giant snail making like he's moving really fast, but he's not. Aid to Ukraine. They better help them out. <laughs> There's big problems on the Okay, I didn't even look at this, so what are we gonna do here? Horrific Gaza. AD whatever monster home problem. Oh god, put housing mobile on foreign investors. That's be honest on sacrifice needed to energy policies. Build it avert mentally ill. Let's go stop. with stop. Let's go with mentally ill. <laughs> Why not? 
bill to divert mentally ill homeless will help them. Kudos to Dr. Chad Koyad Nagayi, the State Department Health the Medical Director for Crisis Continuum and the ADOH for itself for their sustainable, they love that word sustainable, sustainable services for the mentally ill homeless. The ACLU argues Senate Bill 3139 contravenes human dignity and autonomy, stating the bill funnels disabled and neurodivergent persons into jails and mental health facilities to hide them from public view. They should be on display. <laughs> While the 14th Amendment prohibits depriving liberty without due process, it also protects life with a life expectancy of 53 years, 30 years less than the rest of us, it is unfair to let these people suffer in squalor, let them suffer in public. The ACLU opposition to SB State Bill 3139 deprives them of needed support. Having worked in both the Queens Medical Center Psychiatric Emergency Department and Oahu Community Correction Center, I attest that detainees are genuine public safety threats. SB 3139, supported by Governor Josh Green, is a modern, necessary step to help this enduring situation in our state. Gerald Bush, MD, Waikiki. Oh, uh, thank you, Dr. Oops, wrong button. Oh, where am I? Thank you. Thank you, Dr. Bush. Over here. Over here. That's where I am. Over here. Uh, thank you, Dr. Bush. Uh, Gerald. Yeah. 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 Whatever. Uh, you, you guy. You, you're the doctor. Thank you, doctor. Thank you, doctor. Queens. I've been, you know, I had some medical cases. I've been in and out. <laughs> Queens a little bit. That's, don't want to know. I'm the old guy. Let me tell you about my medical procedure. They don't call them operations, they call them procedures. But you go in, you have to park or whatever, dropped off, get picked up. And so like in the car, driving away going, oh my gosh, okay, I got to heal from this. Oh my gosh. And you look out the window, see they got the psych department inside that hospital. It's a big main hospital. It's a really good one too. So some of the psych people or homeless people homeless people converge towards it and psych people spill out from it because some of the homeless come in and they go out and so you got these like homeless people on the sidewalk you sidewalks out there not camping but just sort of like well there's and driving you're like sit at the stoplight you look over and this guy was pulling down his pants taking a turd on the sidewalk it's like oh I mean, I think there's a whole psychology of when someone is homeless, it's like, F the system, look at this, look what I have to do. It's kind of a, a victimhood thing, but it's like, look, and it's also against the system thing. So they don't, it's like a lot of times resistant. I got close to that stuff and I fear that stuff. I, I don't trust them worth a spit <laughs> oh <laughs> but it's what are you doing it's it's thursday I have a wonderful day i have to find out what do i do here okay it's 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 a nice day okay everybody aloha have a good day everything's fine everything's normal that's right it's fine so they, they put those homeless on display there okay. aloha aloha to you aloha bye